Grand Old Partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I salute Frank Knox, born in Massachusetts this day of 1874. The young patriot fought as a rough rider in Cuba during the Spanish-American War. He reported for the Grand Rapids Herald, then edited a forerunner of the New Hampshire Union leader. He served as an artillery officer in France during World War I. In 1930, this Republican journalist became publisher of the Chicago Daily News. Knox was the GOP's 1936 vice presidential nominee. As another world war approached, he urged strengthening the military. July 1940, President Franklin Roosevelt appointed him Secretary of the Navy in order to broaden political support for the administration's foreign and defense policies. On the negative side, Knox favored internment of Japanese Americans and banned them from enlisting in the Navy. Frank Knox died of a heart attack in April 1944. He was buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Named for him were the destroyer USS Frank Knox and the Knox class of frigates. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.